hi everyone today i am going to discuss about important concepts on laws of motion and work energy and power if you prepare these two chapters very well easily you will get 23 marks in your first puc annual exam 2024 those who are watching my videos first time do subscribe and like the videos for further updates first i am going through the chapter laws of motion in this chapter the total allotted hours is 13 hours and allotted mark is 12 mark this 12 mark is distributed in several sections that is first one mcq from this chapter you are going to get two mcq questions each question carry one mark and two essay type questions you are going to get in exam and one essay question is for two mark short answer type and another one is for three mark and from this chapter you are going to get one numerical problem that totally 12 mark next the important concepts are the first one is inertia you are going to get question on the concept inertia what is meant by inertia and what are the inertial properties and types of inertia there are mainly three types in inertia those are inertia of rest inertia of motion inertia of direction these are the main types of inertia and after that the next concept is newton's laws of motion this is one of the important concept in this chapter there are mainly three laws in newton's laws of motion first one is first law next one is second law third one newton's third law here in first law and third law you are going to get the questions like definitions and you are going to get the question of 3 mark or 5 mark from the newton second law the question is like obtain the expression for f equal to ma like that question you are asking in the exam next another important concept is conservation of momentum as you already family familiar with the terms momentum momentum means mass into velocity it is a product of mass into velocity and for a body we are observing two type of momentums that is initial momentum and final momentum if we consider two or more bodies here we are taking two bodies two bodies are moving in a medium in a particular direction and these two individual bodies are colliding with each other in the medium before collision these two bodies having the momentum and after colliding the momentum changes that is the momentum after collision that is here pa plus pb is the momentum before collision that equal to pa dash plus pb dash momentum after collision from this concept you are going to get a five mark derivation the question is like derive the expression for conservation of momentum or you may get a question like obtain the expression for conservation of momentum this expression you have to derive from the momentum of a body next main question is friction and types as you already known about the term friction it is a opposition force offered to a body for motion and there are three types are there in friction static friction rolling friction kinetic friction okay like that types are there 
on those types you are going to get question in your exam and after that common forces in mechanics about this also you are going to get a question and next one is circular motion when a body is moving in a circular path we can measure the parameters related to circular motion okay these are the main concepts in the laws of motion next i will consider the chapter work energy and power work energy power here uh, from this chapter the allotted hours is 12 hours and allotted marks for our annual exam is 11 mark this 11 mark is distributed in several sections okay first one is mcq from this chapter you are going to get one question from the mcq section which carries one mark and one essay type question which carries two mark and one essay type question which carries three mark and another one is la long answer okay which carries five mark derivation type totally the marks is 11 marks from this chapter now i will go through the important concepts from this chapter the first one is scalar product okay as we know that scalar product and vector product okay from the scalar product you are going to get the question in your exam and next one is work energy theorem work energy theorem this question may ask for three mark next one is concept is work what is meant by work and it belongs to which quantity and dimension formula of work work is nothing but work done on a body okay. about that you are going to get questions and kinetic energy what is meant by kinetic energy and what is the formula of kinetic energy and how the nature of kinetic energy is okay such that questions you are going to get in our exams and we have to obtain the expression for kinetic energy in this chapter next one is work done by a variable force as we know that work is going to done on a body okay here the variable force and constant force these are the two concepts here we are going to find out the work done by a variable force means force is not constant it goes on varying with respect to time interval the, this question may ask for three mark explain the work done on a body due to variable force like that question you are going to get in a exam next one is potential energy this is also a type of energy hmm? and it has its own characteristics and it has its formula okay you have to get the questions on a definition type on this potential energy and next one is conservation of mechanical energy conservation of mechanical energy this is the most important concept in this chapter from this concept you are going to get five mark question long answer type questions that is when we hold a stone at a particular height consider that position as a a next when we leave that stone to the ground it will cover certain distance and reaches the another position that is called as b and when it reaches the earth surface the position is taken as c here at all three individual positions we are going to find out the total energy of a body that is conserved okay that derivation we are going to derive in this chapter conservation of a mechanical energy you have to draw the diagram and explain the terms and uh, you have to explain the magnitude of energies in each positions and total energy remains same okay next one is potential energy of a spring as you already familiar with the 
spring what type of energy it is and you have to obtain the expression for potential energy stored in a spring on that basis you are going to get question and next one is power power is nothing but capacity to do the work power having certain si unit and certain dimension formula like that question so you are going to get in a exam and after that elastic and inelastic collision as we as we know that what is meant by collision okay. in collision there are two types elastic and inelastic collision on that basis also you are going to get questions on the this this chapter and next one is collisions in the one dimension and collisions in two dimensions two dimensions okay in the one and 2d dimension the collisions is a different from one dimension to two dimension means after collision we we are observing the variation in energies that we have to derive okay these are all are the important concepts in the work work energy and power if you prepare these two chapters in detail easily you will get 23 marks in your first pvc annual exams 2024 thank you